Good morning, class. Today we are on book three, lesson 57, and we're going to talk about something called an array. So an array is a fancy math word for these pictures that I have behind me. And we use arrays to show multiplication facts. So an array can be made up of any kind of picture or objects. Um, in a little bit today, I'm going to have you get some kind of manipulative out at home. It might be Cheerios or chocolate chips or some kind of candy or just paper clips. Anything that you happen to have probably at least 30 of sitting around at your house. But in addition to those concrete objects, we can draw pictures of arrays. Here I've got one with circles, then stars, and then I don't know if you can see that, but I put little smiley faces in my circles. You can use whatever kind of drawing you want for an array. I don't recommend that you make it terribly complicated. You're not trying to be a fancy artist here, just something that you can draw really quick to show your multiplication facts. So let's talk about how these arrays show multiplication facts. Here I've got a total of 12 circles and I've arranged them in three rows. This is a row, this is the second row, and this is another row of four. So three rows of four here. So the multiplication fact that this would go with is three times four equals 12. I count my rows, three. I count my columns, so this is a column, one, two, three, four, and three rows times four columns gives me a total of 12 circles. I could count these out by ones, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, or I could count them by threes if I wanna go down the columns, or I could count them by fours. Either way, I'm gonna end up with 12 circles. Here I did something very similar. I've still got 12 items here. I have 12 stars, but I changed how I oriented it. Instead of having three rows of four, now I have four rows of three. So I could write this, three times four equals 12. Does this show three groups of four? Absolutely. Or I could flip it around and write it four times three equals 12, because it also shows four groups of three. And I can do the same thing over here. So these two pictures both are arrays that show the same two multiplication facts. Okay, let's look down at my smiley faces. I changed the numbers up on that one. <clears throat> Here, I have groups of two, and I have one, two, three, four, five groups of two, or five rows of two. So I can write it like this, <clears throat> excuse me, or I could flip-flop and write it like this. We're gonna get to this lesson a little bit later because um, there's a word for that flip-flopping that I'm doing, but I want to point out it's just like addition. You know how it doesn't matter if we write 3 plus 4 or 4 plus 3. We still end up with 7 either way. Same thing with multiplication. Doesn't matter what order you put those two factors in, you're going to end up with the same answer either way. So we can write them either way, and you'll see that in your homework you might write 2 times 5 equals 10, and your answer key might have it written as 5 times 2 equals 10. So you need to be able to recognize, oh, we agree, it's the same. The answer key just wrote it one way, and I wrote it the other way, but they're both the same multiplication fact, okay? All right, so this is what an array looks like. Now is the time that I would like for you to have some objects at home, Again, Cheerios, chocolate chips, pieces of candy, paper clips, anything that you have a little pile of that you can start making some arrays with. So pause the video now, go grab that stuff, and come back to me when you're ready.
Okay, so our first example, I'm just going to add a couple more stars here. Our first example is this array, and I want you to tell me the multiplication fact that is shown in this array. So we can see three, three is going to be part of it. And then let's count this way. One, two, three, four, five. Three times five equals, well now I have to figure out how many stars there are. So I like counting by fives. Five, 10, 15. Three times five is 15. If you flipped it around, and said five times three is 15, same thing, you got it. All right, for our next one, this is where you need your objects. I'm gonna give you a problem, and I want you to create an array that shows this problem, six times three. So go ahead and do that now. If you need to pause the video so that you have enough time, that's fine. 6 times 3. So I'll work on my array. Okay, here's mine. So you should have something that looks either exactly like this or maybe you flipped it so that you have three going across and six going up and down. That would be okay too. So the last part of this problem after showing our array is we have to figure out what is the answer. So we can either count by threes or count by sixes. Let's do threes. Three, six, nine, 12, 15, 18. So six times three equals eight. 18. Okay, I'm going to have you create a couple more arrays today. The directions here say use your objects to make an array for each pair of factors. For each array, write a multiplication fact on your paper that shows both factors and the product. So you're going to write the whole multiplication fact. So our first one is 5 times 2. They give us the factors. You're going to show me your array with your objects, and then you'll have to write the whole multiplication fact, including the answer. Go ahead and work on that now. Okay, there's my array. Yours might look like this, or you might have tilted it so that you have five across and only two rows. And then we have to count for the answer. Two, four, six, eight, ten. Five times two equals ten. Our next one is seven times three. So show me your array, and then write down your answer. Here's my array, seven times three. I have seven in each row and a total of three rows. Let's count by sevens. Seven, 14, 21. So seven times three equals 21. Okay, I have one more that you're gonna try with me and then you'll go move on to the lesson practice. So our last problem is six times four. Show me an array and then write down the whole problem, including the answer. Six times four. There we 
we go. Did you see me counting to make sure I had the right number of rows? I knew I was doing four across. Then I had to go one, two, three, four, five, six. I've got them all. Here's my six times four array. And now I have to figure out the answer. I don't know. I don't like counting by fours or sixes. Let's, let's get it over with and count by six. So six, six plus six is 12. 12 plus six is 18. And 18 plus six gives me 24. Six times four is 24. All right. So there are a couple more problems that I want you to try. They are your lesson practice on page 308 of your textbook. Try those and then check your answers in the answer key. Um, if you are in my class, we will be going over the answers to these as part of your math class today. So you can just do them and then hang on to them until you see me in person. And then start your written practice, which also begins on page 308. I hope you have a great day, and I'll see you soon.